I get a lot of comments on this uh, little um, RF generator that I use. You can search for ADF4351. 4351 is the chip being used. It goes between 35 megahertz and 4.4 gigahertz. And it has a output and 180 degrees phase output. So uh, it's a square wave, square wave output, but perfectly, perfectly fine for lots of things. I've modified mine to uh, to just be able to put a lab power supply on it. Uh, but anyway, it's got a little uh, it's got a little display here, and you can set the point, uh, which is CW or sweep, and you can set the steps of the sweep and how fast it sweeps and things like that. So yeah, it's a, it's a cool little toy. Uh, I use it all the time, but I came across uh, a different one, so I bought this. Um, I forget how much I paid for it. Uh, but if you search for Max 2870, and it's a little bit smaller, uh, but it's the same thing. It's got the buttons. It's got the little di display. Um, and But this one is 23.5 megahertz to 6 gigahertz, so it goes up to 6 gigahertz. And that's what I wanted it for, a little bit higher frequency. And uh, But it was super cheap, too. Uh, so we can, we can hook it up. Turn on my spectrum analyzer here. Let's let it warm up while we hook things up. Uh, I haven't put the little wires on it yet, so I'll have to use USB-C to power it up. So stick on a charging cord here and even get a little color display on this one. Ooh, how about that? But uh, yeah, so it's got CW mode, point, sweep, and sweep set. So point mode, you just put in the frequency you want and how much power you want. That's quite a bit of power. Uh, let's turn it down a bit, minus one. It doesn't really have a big range of settings, we'll leave it at minus four. That's as small as it'll go. Um, and then uh, we can set the frequency, so it's set to one gigahertz, right? And so uh, we can see on the spectrum analyzer, or, or peak is at one gigahertz, uh, 99, 998.4. And uh, I, it, it, it probably is closer than that. If we zoom in on that, if I do a peak to center and we'll do a span of, let's say 10 megahertz, and we hit the peak, it is, yeah, it's measuring one gigahertz. Uh, let's see if we can get more. Let's see here, marker to center. And if we zoom in here, try to get some more decimal places. Can I get any more decimal places out of this machine? I guess I can get them down here. So peak to center. The center is at 999.9968. So yeah, it's pretty, it is pretty close. Okay. Um, and uh, like I said, let's zoom back out. I'll do a preset on it. And a square wave, so you're getting the harmonics. Let's go up to uh, two gigahertz, three gigahertz. This one, this one is good. This machine is good to 3.2 gigahertz. So uh, yeah, that's great. Then what if I, what, the reason I wanted six gigahertz is I can use it with an external mixer and I can mix things down to three gigahertz and do a bunch of six gigahertz work. So anyway, that's what I wanted it for. Let's try that sweeping capability here. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the reason to do sweep is to maybe like test a filter. So let's put in here a filter. Here's a filter. I don't have a high frequency filter, but we'll get this one. They'll give you the idea here. Um, this is a 1.57 gigahertz. So we will stick this on. 1.5, okay. So down here, I'm going to go to sweep mode. I'm gonna set up the start at one point, uh, let's say one and a half, 1.5. And we'll go up to 1.7, let's say, 1.7. And then you go here to the mode circular, you turn that on, 
oops, circular, and then on. And now it should be, now it should be sweeping. And yeah, so it's doing something there. So let's set the frequency of this thing, start frequency of 1.5. Stop frequency at 1.7. So now they they match. And uh, oops, I did something wrong. Start frequency at 1.5 gigahertz. Stop frequency 1.7 gigahertz. Oh, there we go. Oh, and you can see our sweep. So we're sweeping the filter, comes up, and then it goes back down, comes up. Then it goes back down. Now the way that you use these is to just put on peak peak trace hold. So I'll do max hold on it and then we can sweep our filter. So if you just, they're not synchronized to one another. So you just have, kind of have to wait for a while for it to catch all those frequencies. But yeah, there we go. So now we have a sweep of a filter. Um, then we can do something like, uh, let's see, where is it? Is it under peak or no, it's under marker, marker functions. Yeah, marker functions. So it gives me everything about this filter. Uh, it gives me the center frequency of 1.57, a Q of 131, it gives you the 3 dB points and stuff. Um, anyway, uh, there you go. Anyway, quick little, uh, quick little um, video just to show you this thing. I hadn't really, uh, hello focus. Focus, you can do it. There we go. So this is a max uh, 2870. And uh, I like it. It's a little color display too, which is nice. Uh, I, I don't think I paid more than $25 for this thing. So yeah, it was pretty cheap. Check out, check out AliExpress. I think that's where I got mine. Let me uh, get out a magnifier here. Let me see if I can read some part numbers off this thing. Yeah, Maxim 2870E, yep. So that's the chip that does all of the uh, DDS and stuff. Um, it has a five volt to three and a half, to 3.3 volt regulator. Uh, it has a, a USB interface, so you can talk to this thing. I don't know, I guess you guess you can. Um, it has a uh, USB converter here into serial, so um, you must be able to talk to the program and actually input data maybe from a computer. It's an it's a STM32 chip running at uh, 8 megahertz, so yeah, interesting. Um, it also has another little connector. It came with a cable for this connector too, which is TXRX 3.3. Um, so. It must be programmable. I don't have any data on programming it, nor do I intend on programming it. So uh, if anybody knows, comment down below if you've programmed one of these things and and if it's easy to do. But yeah, there you go. I think it's good to good to have on the bench.